Hey there guys, how's everyone doing today? Recently Roblox has announced that they now have a new audio discovery feature. And today I'm going to show you how to find the sound effects, the songs and the music for your Roblox game. To get the sound that you want, first thing you want to do is you want to go to the Roblox Creator Hub. The address is create.roblox.com. Once you get on this page, click on the three bars, select Marketplace. On this next page, click on audio. And there it is on this page, you got all the sound effects and music that you need for your Roblox game. Down here, you can see all the sounds are ordered by genres, by vibes, by sound effects. And in this next section here, these are the trending sounds. And go down a little further, you're gonna see all the essential sounds. Roblox has also mentioned that the search now has been improved. So if you'd like to give it a try, go ahead and stop by and search for some music. So there you have it, guys. That's how you find the sound and the music for your Roblox games. Now, if you want to know how to put the sound into your game, just stick around and I'm going to show you. So for example, if we're going to come down here and we're going to look for a horror sound, scary sound how, how about we take the scary sound so let's play and hear how it sounds like okay if you like the sound just click on get audio this item has been added to your inventory so now we're going to go to roblox studio to get that sound remember it is a scary sound here i am inside roblox studio and you can pick the base plate template and we're going to open the toolbox and look for the sound that we have retrieved from the website. So I'm going to click on these four boxes here. That's the inventory tab. I'm going to change my selection here to my audio. And there it is, the scary sound. If I want to put it into my game, I'm going to select the workspace here. And then I'm going to click on this sound. It goes inside my workspace. All I need to do now to have the sound play in my game is with the sound file selected, I'm going to go to the properties window and I'm going to click on loop and I'm going to click on playing. And now we can go ahead and close this toolbox window and press play to take a look. And there it is guys, you hear that sound inside your game. Everyone, thank you for watching and we will see you again in our next tutorial. Take care.